in mathematical analysis and in probability theory. A sigma algebra on a set X is a collection sigma of subsets of X that is closed under countable fold set operations. By contrast, an algebra is only required to be closed under finitely many set operations. That is, a sigma algebra is an algebra of sets, completed to include countably infinite operations. The pair is also a field of sets, called a measurable space. The main use of sigma algebras is in the definition of measures, specifically, the collection of those subsets for which a given measure is defined is necessarily a sigma algebra. This concept is important in mathematical analysis as the foundation for Lebesgue integration, and in probability theory, where it is interpreted as the collection of events which can be assigned probabilities. Also, in probability, sigma algebras are pivotal in the definition of conditional expectation. In statistics, sigma algebras are needed for a formal mathematical definition of sufficient statistic, particularly when the statistic is a function or a random process and the notion of conditional density is not applicable. If x equals a, b, c, d, one possible sigma algebra on x e sigma equals a, b, c, C, D, A, B, C, D, where is the empty set? However, a finite algebra is always a sigma algebra. If A1, A2, A3 is a countable partition of X then the collection of all unions of sets in the partition is a sigma algebra. A more useful example is the set of subsets of the real line formed by starting with all open intervals and adding in all countable unions countable intersections, and relative complements and continuing this process until the relevant closure properties are achieved. Motivation. There are at least three key motivators for sigma algebras. Defining measures, manipulating limits of sets, and managing partial information characterized by sets. Measure A measure on X is a function that assigns a non-negative real number to subsets of X. This can be thought of as making precise a notion of size or volume for sets. We want the size of the union of disjoint sets to be the sum of their individual sizes, even for an infinite sequence of disjoint sets. One would like to assign a size to every subset of X, but in many natural settings, this is not possible. For example the axiom of choice implies that when the size under consideration is the ordinary notion of length for subsets of the real line, then there exist sets for which no size exists, for example, the Vitali sets. For this reason, one considers instead a smaller collection of privileged subsets of X. These subsets will be called the measurable sets. They are closed under operations that one would expect for measurable sets, that is, the complement of a measurable set is a measurable set and the countable union of measurable sets is a measurable set. Non-empty collections of sets with these properties are called sigma algebras. Limits of sets Many uses of measure, such as the probability concept of almost sure convergence, involve limits of sequences of sets. For this, closure under countable unions and intersections is paramount. Set limits are defined as follows on sigma algebras. The limit supremum of a sequence A1, A2, A3, each of which is a subset of X, is the limit infimum of a sequence A1, A2, A3, each of which is a subset of X, is, if, in fact, then the exists as that common set. Subsigma algebras in much of probability, especially when conditional expectation is involved. One is concerned with sets that represent only part of all the possible information that can be observed. This partial information can be characterized with a smaller sigma algebra, which is a subset of the principal sigma algebra. It consists of the collection of subsets relevant only to and determined only by the partial information. A simple example suffices to illustrate this idea. Imagine you are playing a game that involves flipping a coin repeatedly and observing whether it comes up heads or tails. Since you and your opponent are each infinitely wealthy, there is no limit to how long the game can last. 
This means the sample space omega must consist of all possible infinite sequences of h or t. However, after n flips of the coin, you may want to determine or revise your betting strategy in advance of the next flip. The observed information at that point can be described in terms of the two n possibilities for the first n flips. Formally, since you need to use subsets of omega, this is codified as the sigma algebra. Observe that then, where is the smallest sigma algebra containing all the others? Definition and properties. Definition let x be some set, and let 2x represent its power set. Then a subset sigma 2x is called a sigma algebra if it satisfies the following three properties. X is in sigma, and X is considered to be the universal set in the following context. Sigma is closed under complementation. If A is in sigma, then so is its complement, X, A. Sigma is closed under countable unions. If A1, A2, A3, are in sigma, then so is A equals A1, A2, A3. From these properties, it follows that the sigma algebra is also closed under countable intersections. It also follows that the empty set is in sigma, since by x is in sigma and asserts that its complement, the empty set, is also in sigma. Moreover, by it follows as well that x is the smallest possible sigma algebra. Elements of the sigma algebra are called measurable sets. An ordered pair, where x is a set and sigma is a sigma algebra over x, is called a measurable space. A function between two measurable spaces is called a measurable function if the pre-image of every measurable set is measurable. The collection of measurable spaces forms a category, with the measurable functions as morphisms. Measures are defined as certain types of functions from a sigma algebra to 0 infinity. A sigma algebra is both a pi system and a Dynkin system. The converse is true as well, by Dynkin's theorem. Dynkin's pi lambda theorem This theorem is an essential tool for proving many results about properties of specific sigma algebras. It capitalizes on the nature of two simpler classes of sets, namely the following. A pi system P is a collection of subsets of sigma that is closed under finitely many intersections, and a Dynkin system D is a collection of subsets of sigma that contains sigma and is closed under complement and under countable unions of disjoint subsets. Dynkin's pi lambda theorem says, if P is a pi system and D is a Dynkin system that contains P then the sigma algebra or sigma generated by P is contained in D. Since certain pi systems are relatively simple classes, it may not be hard to verify that all sets in P enjoy the property under consideration while, on the other hand, showing that the collection D of all subsets with the property is a Dynkin system can also be straight forward. Dynkin's pi lambda theorem then implies that all sets in sigma enjoy the property, avoiding the task of checking it for an arbitrary set in sigma. One of the most fundamental uses of the pi lambda theorem is to show equivalence of separately defined measures or integrals. For example, it is used to equate a probability for a random variable x with the Lebesgue's dl to Jess integral typically associated with computing the probability. For all a and the Borel sigma algebra on R, where f is the cumulative distribution function for x, defined on R, while is a probability measure, defined on a sigma algebra a sigma of subsets of some sample space omega. Combining sigma algebras supposes a collection of sigma algebras on a space x. The intersection of a collection of sigma algebras is a sigma algebra. To emphasize its character as a sigma algebra, it often is denoted by sketch of proof. Let sigma denote the intersection. Since x is in every sigma alpha, sigma is not empty. Closure under complement and countable unions for every sigma alpha implies the same must be true for sigma. Therefore, sigma is a sigma algebra. The union of a collection of sigma algebras is not generally a sigma algebra, or even an algebra, but it generates a sigma algebra known as the join which typically is denoted. A pi system that generates the join is sketch of proof. 
by the case n equals 1, it is seen that each, so this implies by the definition of a sigma algebra are generated by a collection of subsets. On the other hand, which by Dynkin's pi lambda theorem, implies sigma algebras for subspaces suppose y is a subset of x and let be a measurable space, the collection, y b. B sigma is a sigma algebra of subsets of Y. Suppose as a measurable space, the collection are X. A Y lambda is a sigma algebra of subsets of X. Relation to sigma ring A sigma algebra A sigma is just a sigma ring that contains the universal set X. A sigma ring need not be a sigma algebra, as for example measurable subsets of zero levers gay measure in the real line or a sigma ring but not a sigma algebra since the real line has infinite measure and thus cannot be obtained by their countable union. If, instead of zero measure, one takes measurable subsets of finite levers gay measure, those are a ring but not a sigma ring. Since the real line can be obtained by their countable union yet its measure is not finite. Typographic note sigma algebras are sometimes denoted using calligraphic capital letters, or the fractur typeface, thus may be denoted as or. Examples. Simple set-based examples let X be any set. The family consisting only of the empty set and the set X, called the minimal or trivial sigma algebra over X. The power set of X, called the discrete sigma algebra. The collection, A, A, X, is a simple sigma algebra generated by the subset A, the collection of subsets of X which are countable or whose complements are countable is a sigma algebra. This is the sigma algebra generated by the singletons of X. Note, countable, includes finite or empty. The collection of all unions of sets in a countable partition of X is a sigma algebra. Stopping time sigma algebras A stopping time can define a algebra, the so-called stopping time sigma algebra, which in a filtered probability space describes the information up to the random time in the sense that, if the filtered probability space is interpreted as a random experiment, the maximum information that can be found out about the experiment from arbitrarily often repeating it until the time is sigma algebras generated by families of sets. Sigma algebra are generated by an arbitrary family let F be an arbitrary family of subsets of X. Then there exists a unique smallest sigma algebra which contains every set in F. It is, in fact, the intersection of all sigma algebras containing F. This sigma algebra is denoted sigma and is called the sigma algebra generated by F. For a simple example, consider the set X equals 1, 2, 3. Then the sigma algebra generated by the single subset 1 is sigma equals 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. By an abuse of notation, when a collection of subsets contains only one element, a, one may write sigma instead of sigma, in the prior example sigma instead of sigma. Indeed, using sigma to mean sigma is also quite common. There are many families of subsets that generate useful sigma algebras. Some of these are presented here. Sigma algebra are generated by a function if f is a function from a set x to a set y and b is a sigma algebra of subsets of y. Then the sigma algebra are generated by the function f denoted by sigma is the collection of all inverse images f minus 1 of the sets s in b, i.e., a function f from a set x to a set y is measurable with respect to a sigma algebra a sigma of subsets of x if and only if sigma is a subset set of sigma. One common situation, and understood by default if B is not specified explicitly, is when Y is a metric or topological space and B is the collection of Borel sets on Y. If F is a function from X to Rn then sigma is generated by the family of subsets which are inverse images of intervals, rectangles in Rn. A useful property is the following. Assume F is a measurable map from 2 and G is a measurable map from 2. 
if there exists a measurable function h from t to s such that f equals h, then sigma sigma, if s is finite or countably infinite or if is a standard Borel space then the converse is also true. Examples of standard Borel spaces include Rn with its Borel sets and R infinity with the cylinder sigma algebra described below. Borel and Lebesgue sigma algebra is an important example is the Borel algebra over any topological space. The sigma algebra are generated by the open sets. Note that this sigma algebra is not, in general, the whole power set. For a non-trivial example that is not a Borel set, see the Vitali set or non-Borel sets. On the Euclidean space Rn, another sigma algebra is of importance, that of all Lebesgue measurable sets. This sigma algebra contains more sets than the Borel sigma algebra on Rn and is preferred in integration theory, as it gives a complete measure space. Product sigma algebra let them be two measurable spaces. The sigma algebra for the corresponding product space is called the product sigma algebra and is defined by observe that is a pi system. The Borel sigma algebra for Rn is generated by half-infinite rectangles and by finite rectangles. For example, for each of these two examples, the generating family is a pi system. Sigma algebra generated by cylinder sets supposes a set of real-valued functions. Let denote the Borel subsets of R. A cylinder subset of X is a finitely restricted set defined as each is a pi system that generates a sigma algebra. Then the family of subsets is an algebra that generates the cylinder sigma algebra for X. This sigma algebra is a subalgebra of the Borel sigma algebra determined by the product topology of restricted to X. An important special case is when is the set of natural numbers and X is a set of real valued sequences. In this case, it suffices to consider the cylinder sets for which is a non-decreasing sequence of sigma algebras. Sigma algebra are generated by random variable or vector supposes a probability space. If is measurable with respect to the Borel sigma algebra on Rn then Y is called a random variable or random vector. The sigma algebra generated by Y is sigma algebra generated by a stochastic process supposes a probability space and is the set of real valued functions on. If is measurable with respect to the cylinder sigma algebra for X then Y is called a stochastic process or random process. The sigma algebra generated by Y is the sigma algebra generated by the inverse images of cylinder sets.